Welcome back to What Are Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the King Tiger Captured. It's a tier 7 German heavy tank, a premium one at that, and it's located on the north spawn of Siegfried Line Assault, and it's also under the command of IA Tokyo. Battle's about to start. Okay, they're off. Well, King Tiger Captured. The only thing that distinguishes it from its uh, counterpart, the real German, Tiger 2 is that this one's got a giant star on the rear saying it's an American tank not a German one and of course if you have uh, Amazon Prime you were given one of these for free um, and it's, it's quite good actually it's not bad a lot of people have complained about the fact that the Tiger 2 actually is fairly weak tank and the King Tiger capture well you only have to puncture it once and you get module damage but it does have that lovely gun, which is 88 millimeter, 240 alpha, and a reload of seven seconds. And really the only weak spot in this tank is the fact that um, most people try to go for the Coppola and they miss the fact that there's that sloped armor on top of the tank there. That's the weak spot you need to go to. Not for the mantlet, not for the gun, not for the upper plate. Just go for the top of the turret. You might be able to get the lower plate. The lower plate you can easily puncture as well. Okay. Oh, wonderful shot there on the LTG. Now, the, in real life, the King Tiger, or the, um, the Tiger II, as it really should be known, was a bit of a sniper tank. It really didn't have the frontal armor of the Tiger uh, in terms of the... It wasn't designed like the Tiger to be just like in your face and just roll up and blast every tank that it came across. Because by the time the King Tiger came out, or the Tiger II came out, of course the Germans had been fighting the war for some time. And they were up against some uh, pretty serious opposition in terms of things like the T-3485. And that Scorpion is a lucky man because he just got missed. If that shell had hit him, I think that would have been him out the game. Scorpion hasn't got much in the way of armor. In fact, it's no armor at all. But it won't even stop bullets. It's that thin. Now, he's got no fear because there is a Spar Panzer up there spotting for us at the moment. Remember, this is a assault game, which means we have to kill all of the enemy tanks or capture the cap within 10 minutes. And so that's why he's taking the risks he is. And oh, enemy RT. One shot, he's gone. We did bounce around there from the uh, AMX 65 ton. And looks like our RT is helping as well. We're picking up some spotting assists on the Tiger. And oh, there's another enemy just around the corner M12. It's a pity that because we just missed the opportunity to go for a Pascucci's. And he's going to go for it. Now, just ramming speed. Go for it. That's it. Pascucci's. Saves him the shell. Now, Tiger P in the side. Yep. Nicely done. One more. Oh, <laughs> our arty gets there before we do. One through his lower plate. Now we did take a round from him. We're not worrying about the hit points though. We've got plenty and a nice snapshot there on the Type 61, 223. Remember what I said, that's a low roll because the alpha damage is 240. And the Type 61's gone. There are only six enemies left. Oh, and we took a round from one of them. It's the ISU-152. And he's rather ruined our day because that was 667 hit points gone. Just like that. A direct hit. Now, can we shot him? Shoot him? Yes, he's not looking this way. One through him. Low roll. Can we get another one in? Artie's firing at him as well. There's the Shriv as well. So there's two that we can hit. And the Centurion 7-1. Oh, Yes, got one into his rear. He's not looking this way at the moment because the 
prototypes giving him a lot of bother. The, yes, ISU 152 is down. So we've got a Centurion and a Striv. And that's the last two enemies alive. We've got five minutes to get them. Plenty of time. Here's the Striv. He's looking at us. And now we just need to ram him. Ram him. That's it. Massive damage from the ram. And bang, he's gone. One more kill. Centurion 7 1. And he's gone. So it's a win. Nicely done. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's the first class tanker for I-8 Tokyo in the King Tiger captured. He managed to get a spot badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. He was quite doing quite a good job actually for his arty. Uh, he got a fighter badge and a fire for effect out of the minor medals. He also picked up a Pascucci's medal for killing two arty. In fact, actually, when when I saw him go for the Tiger P, I thought, no, no, switch, go to the, the, the M12. It's a guaranteed epic medal uh, straight away. Um, and even that's for me, an arty player. I said, you know, go for the arty. You guarantee to get the medal there you've already taken out their m53 m55 no problem whatsoever and it, certainly he, he did do what he was supposed to do take out the enemy arty and get rid of them and it's uh, obviously uh, a very nice little medal to have even if it is for killing arty <sighs> okay right <laughs> let's have a look at the team scores well, he didn't get the highest damage. No, that didn't go. He got that went to the T10. He got 3,145 hit points, but he didn't pick up the high caliber for some reason. Probably because he did team damage, or maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, well, not maybe not 20% of the enemy hit points in total. The high score on his team was actually the Wizzy 111 Model 14, who did 2983. The Leopard Prototype 2507 and then came I Tokyo with 2159. When it came to kills though, he did get the highest number. He got four kills in total. The Leopard got three, so did the Spa Panzer. And when it came to base XP, he's got the highest amount again, 1,103. Uh, and I think a lot of that comes from the spotting he did, which um, was 1,332 hit points of spotting there. And 945 to the Spa Panzer, 835 to the M12, who was also getting some stun assist i think yep there's some stun assist one five six seven very good and if we look at detail report he fired 16 rounds got 12 direct hits nine penetrations damage of 2159 hit points of which 684 were at more than 300 meters he received six hits two penetrations four non-penetrations one of those penetrations was from that isu 152 and virtually stripped him of all of his hit points in one shot uh, he blocked damage of 1,050 hit points in total, damaged 8 of the enemy, killed 4, and did spotting assistance of 1,332 hit points. On a premium count, he earned 49,706 from the battle, 37,280 from the personal reserves, 7,456 from battle payments, so his total came to 126,751 credits altogether, and after repair, he took away 122,021 credits. He received 1,103 XP times four for the first victory. He got a battle reserve, um, personal reserve bonus, um, and personal reserves payout, a premium vehicle bonus, and because he was playing in platoon in that game, he also got 248 from that. So his total haul for one battle was 11,354 experience points, a very high score indeed. So not a bad game. In fact, actually, he said it's one of his best games in the King Tiger captured. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. We have great replays all the time. Hit the notification bell so you get alerted the moment we've got one up. Thanks for watching.